Hey, how's it going, guys? This is your boy Hayes, and today I'm on the Frost DK on the Legion Beta, of course. I turned my character to Horde just for fun to test out the Orc Racial, and it is actually quite powerful. I'm actually enjoying it. Does that mean I'm switching over? Who knows? Probably not. Maybe. Who knows at this point? But anyways, guys, let's jump into this and just smash out a Temple of Kamogu. Let's go bust out this Temple of Kamoku, guys. I think we can actually put out a lot of pressure in here. I think we're a little slow. I don't think we're going to get to that uh, Berserker first. We can still try, though. We're still going to try. Oh, yeah. We can beat a Shadow Priest. As long as there isn't something on the other side trying to beat us there, that's faster. Like that guy. The Mage. He's pretty fast. Did he get it? Oh, who got it? Was it that Hunter? I think that Hunter got it. Doesn't matter. Let's go in on this guy right here. We're going to actually open Burst on him. Go really ham. He is taking quite a bit of damage. Where He's up in the air. Hold up, hold up. Check this out. He's flying in the air. This guy, he just took off into the air. He was gone. Probably should have waited until we had more people to do some damage, but that's okay. We can go in on him. Um, Guys, I want to kind of talk about stuff like, am I enjoying uh, Legion Beta so far? Am I enjoying this PvP? Honestly, at first I wasn't quite sure because I wasn't used to it, but of course as I'm getting used to it, I know what damage I'm looking at. I know what to kind of watch for uh, a little better. And I'm starting to learn the cooldown, starting to learn some of the other classes, uh, special abilities. And it's really turning out to be pretty cool. Kind of fun. I mean, and it's kind of nice not being as strong as, you know, we previously were. And, you know, just not as much healing, but still quite a bit of damage. So we're not just powder puffs, that's for sure. Taking a lot of damage here. This is going to be a problem. This is, you know, we're actually going to go down here. We're going to go down. Oh, we finished him, but we went down. Let's see our pressure there. We have a lot of pressure coming out there. Um, we definitely went down. We got two kills. Oh, we, we actually didn't have... Oh, we just hit a 1,000 uh, honorable kills there. Nice. Um, anyways, so yeah, we're actually putting out quite a bit of damage currently in this battleground. Um, quite a bit of pressure. We're actually going to go back in. Nobody on either side it seems to be really caring about the orbs much. As I was saying uh, in the beginning, I probably should have waited a little bit to pop those cooldowns like that right into an ice block. That was terrible. A lot of my damage abilities rely more on AoE like I was talking about instead of single target. Even though during our bursts and stuff, we do deal a lot of single target, especially with that percentage damage. Quite enjoyable. Um, Yeah. Definitely enjoying it, guys. Uh, it's, it's, it's a new thing. We have... See, the thing is, a lot of people are saying they're trimming it down a lot, and it's it's becoming easier. In some senses, and other things, it's like having less is more. It's kind of, you know, the vanilla feeling. Because you didn't really have that many buttons back then. You had quite a few. It seemed a bit more confusing, especially to a lot of people since it was their first MMO. But it, it, it it's that, like, less is more feeling that's going on here. Um, the smaller things matter, which is kind of nice. I'd have to say, like, whether or not you take a wide turn around a pillar or a short turn to get a slight bit of LOS, that small stuff matters a whole lot more than it used to, especially on a lot of classes. Um, as for the dueling scene, guys, dueling on a Frost DK, it's 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 not pretty, but we can do it. It's not pretty. It's definitely not pretty because of our self heals. Basically, we have to kite somebody out. Even sometimes try to hit a dead zone, and uh, get range on them, get up our runic power to come in and burst, just so we can compete because of you know other guys healing. Because if they are forcing us to heal, we're not really dealing you know our maximum amount of pressure. Kind of like right here, I'm doing a lot of pressure on this guy because I've got like everything ticking. This guy has a healer or something healing him. He should be long dead by now. It's that Boomy? No, it's not that Boomy. What is it doing? Oh, it's this guy. It's this monk right here. Let's take him out. We'll take out that healer. That's the other nice thing I've noticed about a Frost DK is I'm actually able to kill healers um, very quickly. Very quickly. Uh, it's very nice. I think that should be pretty effective in Arena. I can imagine though our defense is kind of like they are um, in World PvP aren't going to be as strong in there. But I'm anticipating that we are going to actually uh, be quite effective in a healer situation arena. So I'm pretty excited about that. Maybe even like a dot comp for how much AoE pressure we have. A really good dot comp would probably play out well to Frost DK this season. 
Oh goodness, we just opened up a ton of bags. And of course, since this is beta, nobody really. That's that's our orb. Forgot I was horde for a minute, guys. We totally just saw a brain fart there. I was like, yeah, kill the horde. Wait a minute, we're playing horde for, for a bit here. But yeah, I'm definitely doing a lot of classes. Things that are like unbeatable for a frost DK. Um, blood DKs for one. Um. Prop alleys. Prop alleys are pretty crazy in tools. Like, tanks all around are insane. Feral druids are probably one of the gnarliest. They they have some crazy burst bug in duels that just, like, globals people. It's ridiculous. It comes with a lot of thorns and reflecting also, but... I don't know. It It's like... Wait a minute. Did, did the feral just, just do what I think he just did? <laughs> did a feral just, like... Global somebody to do it? Yeah, yeah. It happens. Like, five seconds. A feral bear. Not a cat. A, a bear. I'm gonna open up a little more burst on him here. Try to finish up some of those rogues. Right, it's kind of nice, though, guys. If you aren't getting a lot of healing, you will die a lot. That's the thing a lot of people are going to have to realize about the game now that's changing a bit. Is if you were good at the game and you were geared and you did BGs and stuff, you could really get away without dying. But as it is now, if you don't have healers, you're going to die. You're going to die. You are going to die. Even if, like, you are good at what you do, if you don't have any kind of healer support, just the consistent wear of uh, from battle to battle will kill you. Um, I'll probably, honestly, on a DK, I'll probably have to carry a pretty consistent supply of food on them from now on. I mean, n literally never. I never had to carry food on a DK. Uh before and now, but as it rolls through, I'll definitely roll out quite a bit more uh, healing capabilities. Probably also keeping bandaging up. That was never a big issue back then either, but it's definitely going to be uh, probably making a big difference here coming up in the next season in Legion. It's a good idea. Um, as for, I was talking about uh, a couple of the builds, like the Frostscythe build, I was enjoying it. The Frostscythe build is cool, guys, but uh, actually macroing that in with your breath instead of obliterates, it, it nerfed my single target damage definitely, um, even though sometimes I got lucky and it felt like it almost enhanced it, but it was basically the major cleave damage of hitting the people around it that made it feel like it was such immense damage. I mean, it did really good. Like, if once we got team fights and like the world aligned and everything set up, it was amazing. Honestly, it was, it was pretty ridiculous to tell you the truth. But unless that happens, it's like meh-ish, I guess you could say meh-ish. It's meh-ish unless you get lucky. Meh. <laughs> it's meh. This is the slowest Temple of Cop Mogu battleground. Literally, I'm I'm not no lie. Like I think I've ever done. In uh, my whole career is playing WoW. This has got to be like the slowest. My team doesn't want to touch the orbs. And the other team is slowly grabbing orbs. But they're dying. This guy's coming in ham. Oh. The mutagens. We can heal off that thing. There we go. That was a pretty big heal. See what we can do. They got an orb behind. No, that's our orb. Our orb. Yay. Oh, wait, we're winning. I've been looking. I've been brain farting this whole time. We have been winning this, this whole entire battleground, and I've been thinking I was Alliance again. Oh, good joke on Hayes. Good brain fart. Everyone follow Hayes guide. He doesn't even know what team he's on. <laughs> Get back down here. I'm tired of you flying up in the air when I want to kill you. Stop running. Stop. Stop. Okay. Okay, we got him now. We got him now. There's the frost strike of death. Did did the voice just crack right there? That was pretty terrible, guys. Whew. I can't wait until Arena opens up to tell you the truth so I can test that out a bit more. Um, I can imagine I may venture into threes more this season since I will be probably playing at BGs and other settings more where I have other people. Probably less dueling um, and a bit more Arena grinding. And honestly... I don't know about you guys, even though I probably won't get one. I, I I may try at some point, maybe just 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 to feed my own ego to see if we can. But those new Gladiator Infernal Mounts guys are just 
just amazing looking. And I noticed there's one coming up that's actually like a Frost Infernal mount. So I don't know about you guys, but when I look at a Frost Infernal mount, that makes my mouth water. That's that's juicy. It's beautiful. I've never seen something that says Frost so much in my life. So that may be a good possibility that I may push Arena's hard in Legion. Uh, I could definitely see us being viable, like I was talking about earlier, for some crazy damage or dot cleave. AoE cleave, whatever you want to call it. And, yeah, it looks like our team's grouping up and kind of just sweeping the whole outside and not touching orbs. They're like, nope, let's see what we got going on in the damage. We're 19 to 1, pushing double everyone's damage, and uh, quite a bit, surprisingly. Quite a bit of damage here. Oh, well, nope, wrong ability there. We're going to... Nope, we almost lost it. Come on, get the right guy. There it goes. We almost lost our breath for a second there. That, was, that wasn't that was good. They're going to try and get out of our burst. He knows. He's like, nope. Don't know why we used IBF there. Wasn't a good idea. We still killed that uh, DK at range. Still trying to close the gap on that mage and uh, that healer mistweaver right there. As soon as that, uh, that, that bubble comes down, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to rip that mistweaver. As far as excitement goes, though, guys, I've been getting really excited while we're playing this. You know, getting big kills, getting big bursts, yelling and screaming with my buddies. And uh, I actually got really lucky, and one of my close friends actually got into the beta. So we're running around killing stuff, having a blast in here. I got to admit, like, when I was alone, it was it was a struggle on a Frost DK. But now that I got one of my buddies in there, yeah, he's tweaking at me. <laughs> it, it, it gets a lot more fun, guys, as I'm saying. Like, friends are one of the things that really make the game fun. And uh, especially exploring new things is amazing to do with your buddies. Because, I mean, of course, you mess up, you do stupid things, you die, you kill other people, and then you feed off each other's excitement, guys. It's just an amazing time. See what we got going here. This is... This is crazy. I'm going to go pick... I am going to go pick up an orb. This is lasting way too long. <laughs> like, no. No, we don't need... We don't care about winning. We just want to fight stuff. This is Fight Club. This isn't Battlegrounds. This is just Fight Club. My name's Tyler Durden. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't talk about Temple of Cop Mogu. First rule about Temple of Cop Mogu. We don't talk about it. Woo! Been some uh, really crazy numbers in the BGs the past the the past day. Really, been pumping out um, just just some ridiculous stuff. I was actually thinking about posting some of the screenshots on the uh, Facebook we have. If you guys ever check that out, go ahead and do that. Um, just like insane numbers. I I pumped out 121 uh, million in a uh, Strand of the Ancients earlier. I think the closest person to me was like 50. Just absolutely insane numbers, which almost broke my record. My record was 123 million. That was back um, in Mr. Pandaria in a giant like Turtle AV match, which is just absolutely insane. So I was like only 200 or 2 million off from that. Just like, yeah, we're totally breaking that this season. This season, it's going to be like three, four. Four million, four hundred million, that's gonna be the record. I'm betting. That's what we're gonna to get to. But uh yeah, so close to that. I'll probably post that and then a, a few other ones were like thirty and oh just just going ham wrecking people. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll probably go pretty ham in this video as it is. I think the video before we were like nineteen and one, which was pretty crazy. Um we've got a lot of people or a lot of DKs on here that are already like following my little spec thing yeah there's there's been quite a few people like, getting whispers being like where the heck is this damage coming from i got told frosty case were crappy i got told their healing was bad i i don't know guys maybe it's just being optimistic helps but it seems like we're not doing half bad to me i'm actually pretty i'm pretty well enjoying this I mean, the first guy challenged me to a duel, and I'm going to be like, you understand that I'm a glass cannon. <laughs> but as far as BG damage-wise goes, oh, this is this is a blast. This is a fun time. Oh, he wanted that Zerking. Why, why is it so spiteful to watch somebody else take the Berserker? 
Like, you know you want that Berserker. But, like, when they take it, it just... There's there's so much more anger there than just, like... Than there should be. Like, you're like, that could have been my Berserker. Like, that little angry anticipation. I don't know if anybody anybody else has that happen or if it's just, just me, but... <laughs> Lots of kills. Lots of kills. We're up to... Wow. All right, pushing... Actually, we are at uh, 113 mil. Is that 113 mil? I think it is. All right, we're actually getting really close to the record right now. Oh, let's pick it up. We now find more red names. Quickly. Don't shoot me. I want where all your friends are. Oh, DK is coming in at me. We're going to have to... We don't have AMS. Going to try and go in on this entangling route. It's going to deal some pressure there. Oh, this is problems. It's going to throw out the dragon. Why are we getting focused by so many? That was ridiculous. Where did they come from? They literally came out of nowhere. And we went down. That's going to cost us. We, we we may have had a chance to even break the record on this video. We're up to $115 million. But I don't think it's going to happen. We're going to do it. And I'm going to do it on video. It's not going to happen off video. We're going to do it on video. <laughs> Otherwise, it's against rules. See what we got going here. No, we ain't going to make it. We we had a chance. If we would have been able to live through that giant AOE fight, we probably would have been pretty close. If not, like, right there. Let's just go for it. We're still going to go for it. We're not giving up. Mage, come back here. We need to kill you. We need to kill you. Just stop running, dude. Please. We need you just need to die for me. There you go. That's all you need to do. Come back and die. More damage. We can get there. We get there. We're at we're at 117. We can do this. We can do this. Is that a red name? That's not a red name. Get him, get him, get him. We got 50 points to go. Hopefully no one picks up that orb. Stop running, dude! We need our damage. Oh, this guy's actually gonna fight. Yes. Gonna steal that. Oh, didn't get his blink. Didn't put it on in time. I stole uh, Ice Barrier, though. Gonna have to change that. My button's usually Q, but then I didn't Q by Q, so then it messed up. So now Q doesn't love me anymore. I'm gonna have to rebind. I changed it to Z, so I keep messing up that thing. We're gonna have to switch back. That guy's AMS is off. Time for me to go ham. All right, cool. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 121. Don't foil me now. Don't foil me now. We're almost there. Come on. Don't you, don't you go, go over there, rogue. That one's mine. Come on, rogue. Come on, rogue. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. 122.5. No, we're going to get, we're going to miss it. By 0 0.5, 0 0.5 mil, are you kidding me? <laughs> I just missed my guy, my record, by 0 0.5 mil. Oh. Till next time, I'm gonna get that. This was your boy Hayes.